from newstalkzb.co.nz. It's Mike Hosking. Uh, Jonathan, another one of our questions from our listeners. This is from Jonathan. Your party is looking to borrow money to pay for policies. How can you justify borrowing more? Well, actually, if you, you look at the track record, Labor's track record in government was pretty, pretty good. Why aren't we in Greece's situation? Because we paid down the debt. We were responsible fiscal managers, and that, that has really helped New Zealand. <clears throat> in terms of debt, uh, we'll have New Zealand back into surplus by 2014. Uh, we'll have the Crown uh, debt paid off by 2021. That's actually a bit faster than Nationals. Nationals are going to sell off our assets to pay that debt off. We're not. We're going to keep our assets. That means a bit more short-term borrowing. Uh, but when you've sold the assets, you can only sell them once and you lose the dividend stream. Actually, by the end of the period, we'll have a far stronger fiscal position than the National Party. It's about the future. All right. Question from the floor. Mr Goff, Diane Robertson, Auckland City Mission. Diane. Hi. Um, look, we welcome any policies that actually improve the lives of the 200,000 children living in poverty in New Zealand. But I am wondering why, um, for the last five years, your um, party actually has opposed the welfare working for families um, package through court. Um, and now you've done a turnaround on that and you're offering it to beneficiaries, families. So why the turnaround and why so long to implement the policy? Well, why so long to implement? Because uh, we've got restricted finances, and you're very aware of that, as every other New Zealander is. Equally, uh, Don, in, in the area that you're working, you know what the cost of poverty is to the families that you're dealing with. You know that that situation has got much, much worse. Uh, Annette King made the, the position very clear in her statement. She said, yes, it was great that we lifted 130,000 children out of poverty uh, with working for families, uh, but that left people in households that relied on a benefit uh, still below the poverty line. You know, what we want to make sure is that every kid gets a decent start. No kid should have their life blighted by the fact that they can't get a good start in life. We did a whole lot of other things, though, that you'll be aware of, uh, making it cheaper to go to the doctor, reducing the price of prescriptions, uh, making it free for under six-year-olds, and our policy in that area that we'll bring into effect immediately is uh, free health care right. under six-year-olds 24-7. Next question. Good morning. Uh, Mr Goff, Roger Kerr from Asia Pacific Risk Management. Um, which parts of Labor's policies will um, promote <coughs> higher economic growth to, to deliver the jobs? Yeah, I think, um, let me just uh, name maybe the top two or three on my list. Uh, the first will be saving. <clears throat> Everybody knows that we don't save enough in this country. We don't save enough. We don't have the investment capital to own our own future. Uh, other people will own our future. That savings program is, will be the single biggest thing in generating investment capital for growth in business, growth in jobs, and growth in government income for that matter. Secondly, it's got to be about research and development. <clears throat> I learned something as Minister of Trade. We can never be the cheapest in the world at what we produce. We can force wages down as much as you like. We'll never compete against the third world countries. We can be the best. Uh, that's, that's why I think Sir Paul Callaghan's prescription is right. Put the R&D in there, be smart, be creative, be innovative. You and I have both seen that New Zealand enterprise. If we can get that research and development in, it'll make a big difference. Right. Third thing, no, I just want one, one more. It's about upskilling. It's crazy that we've got so many young New Zealanders out of work and not in education and training while, <clears throat> while we have so many, uh, uh, so many skilled shortages holding back enterprises. That's why we'd turn the dole into an incentive for employers to take 18 and 19-year-olds off the dole and into apprenticeships. Very good. Thank you for your questions.